What's up guys, Demo here, and in this video, I want to be showing you guys some tips on Hanzo, how to play Hanzo like a top 500, another guide, and I'm using the Cupid skin, of course, of course, the Cupid skin is the best skin in the game right now, in my opinion. So, let's get into it. When you're playing Hanzo, obviously Hanzo is mainly based around the random arrows, since the arrow hitbox on Hanzo is actually huge when you're shooting the arrow out of your bow, and that's awesome. He kind of needs it because he doesn't have a weapon. He has a bow and arrow. What I like to do on Hanzo, at least, is getting used to going into training range. So you go into training range, and literally you just do this. You just get used to aiming above their head where the projectile is going to go. So I just come in here, just do this. I just flick the targets. Go down here. Get used to this, right? Because you don't want to overshoot. You could overshoot and just hit their head and... That's not good, right? Well, that was good, but that's not good, right? So if you do that a lot, then just come into training mode. I would just stand like right here in training mode. This is a good little area I like going. I just do this. So literally just practice this over and over again. This little rhythm, maybe even this guy up here if you can get him. But you just keep going like this over and over. Just get used to where the arrow is gonna land. If you miss, that's fine. You don't have to be perfect. Just sit right here and just see sometimes I even missed, but just like that. And you'll basically get used to where the headshot is going to be for the most part. Also, another tip I wanted to give you guys is that his sonic arrow, you mainly want to use the sonic arrow on obviously the walls, right? Obviously, it's a sonic arrow and you can see him through the walls, blah, 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 blah. But on big targets, so say tanks, right? This is what you should do on Hanzo. Uh, it's very useful. So say if it, say there's a Rhine. So even if Rhine's holding a shield, I would stick a shield with the Sonic. It's going to stay on a shield. And him moving around is going to reveal all his teammates. Or I just like sticking tanks. Every time I see a tank, I always try to stick them with the Sonic arrow. Just so I can see the rest of the enemy team way easier. Because they're just going to be moving around. As with any target, to be honest, any target, I want to try to hit the Sonic on, just so, like I said, they'll be running around their teammates a bunch, and they'll be revealing everybody. It's way better than just sticking on a wall, and what's that going to do, you know? what? If they run away from that Sonic right here, they you're not going to see them anymore. But, you can stick them, so say if that was a Sonic, so you can stick them like that and now wherever they move it's gonna stuck up it's gonna stay on them and they can't really do it they can't do anything about it until the sonic goes away so it's way better to have it stick to enemies so always try to shoot your sonics to, at enemies if you can body shot them and you'll get a good stick and uh, then you can see where they are also not many people know this actually in overwatch 2 you can actually ricochet your arrows off of walls kind of like scattershot so if you just use your e and then you just shoot at a wall there you go they bounce right off the wall and a lot of people don't know that so just a little tip there you can actually bounce off arrows off the wall and sometimes i like doing it if there's like a mercy hiding behind cover right here say if there is a mercy like right here actually All right so you do this and you can actually kill mercy like that by not even seeing her you just bounce off the wall there's some things you can't uh make the arrows bounce off but most most walls you can i'm gonna stick sigma here Sticking Sigma here, see how he just reveals all his teammates, and that's what I mean by always sticking them. I'm gonna go on Genji here, Genji's on me, got him. And got another one, nice. I'm gonna stick their spawn, see if I can pick anybody off. Sigma had a shield up, so I didn't pick anybody. Keep peeking my Sonic. I stay with my team here. It's like another one over here. Two people over there. I keep my focus on Echo, obviously. And Mercy. And Genji. Just my Sonic stuff, I'm gonna hit Spawn again. I'm gonna keep trying to shoot at Spawn. So he's a little, a little upset that I'm on Hanzo. <laughs> Keep on Hanzo. I'm gonna try to save my team now. I'm not gonna push up to this car anymore. Since they're pushing up, you see how Sigma's pushed up and uses all. I'm gonna push back. Use my all, kind of zone them out. So they can't push as much. 
We may lose this fight here, but that's fine. Genji's dead. I'm gonna push up here, Sonic. I'm trying to go out to Mercy here, since Mercy's gonna be a big priority if you kill her. Got her, nice. Got their Anzo. Anzo's DPS. Now Genji. I need one shot. And the Sonic. And there they spawn. So I can see them. I'm trying to hit Genji here. Can't hit him. If I can get Mercy with one of my arrows, that'll be great. Oh, Deflex. I'm going to stick ground next to me. See where he climbs. I'm going to stick cart just so I can see where people are through the tree. Try to hit Mercy here. Hit Mercy one more time. He's dead. There we go. Got Mercy. I'm going to ult here. Sigma's ult to me. Sigma ult to me there. Every time when Sigma ults, you always just want to ult with Hanzo. Usually just to pressure them back. Even if your ult doesn't kill anything, it's good for your team. Just to get the enemies pushed back more. Because that's what Dragon does. It kind of just like... It makes them, it forces them to back up. And I went after Mercy there, by the way. Just because Mercy was coming out of her ult. And as soon as she comes out of her ult, she gets very slow in midair. So it's way easier to hit with Hanzo arrows, at least. He's spamming, man. Another little tip is that every time when you kill a enemy and they have a Mercy on their team, you always want to Sonic the body that you killed. So say if you killed, say when I killed Genji, I Sonic hit where I killed him at, and then uh, it's gonna be harder for Mercy to even try to res up. I'm gonna Sonic far just to help my team's up, teammates out. Even though I'm not over there, I'm still Sonicing for it for my team, not mainly for myself. I'm gonna all got Genji with my all. Crap here. Got for the, the support here. I'm gonna try to go through Mercy here now. Down the corner, see where she is. She's gonna be over here helping her teammates. Jump on her, dead. Now I got their soldier. Soldier was a hard target to kill. Now Genji. Down a corner. Try to go for Anna here. Anna's a valuable target. There you go. Genji got him. I'm just gonna go sit here over here on right side and shoot a son Sonic on the corner. There we go, got one of the supports. Look for D.Va here. Oh, gonna get D.Va on the mech. I'm trying to focus Genji here, Genji's gonna be low. There we go. Focus on Ana. I heard someone to my right. El Sombra. Sombra. Now Genji. Nice. So right there, it was mainly staying up here on high ground due to they still have the push point, right? So, and I got a little lucky shot off on Sombra, which was great. But they were trying to push point and I was high ground, so I was being a nuisance. And I was kind of like covering their spawn areas, their doors. So I had the right side covered with the Sonic and I could see who's coming out. And I could hear who's coming out on the right side, so I didn't really have to look like... I didn't have to look at it. I just knew who was coming out from the sound, from the footsteps. So I knew someone was to the right. So I looked over to the right and it was Sombra. So Sombra came out. Too bad. Couldn't get Sombra immediately, but I did get her after she came out and emp And yeah, you mainly just want to focus supports. I focused Ana. I focused I uh, Kick Room. But to and uh, yeah, you mainly just want to focus them. I tried to focus the Genji there, which was Nano. You usually don't want to do that, but since we're on Hanzo, he is a vi like when something. you just charge this arrow up, and you hit him once in the body like I did. That did like almost half. That didn't like half HP to him since he's Nano, and it gives him more HP. I have always been so hit him one more time with a full charge to the body shot. It would have almost killed him or killed him. So I was trying to get kill him since that would have took down Nano Genji. Um, other than that, yeah, I just stayed high ground and just try to kill supports and stayed near their doors. Basically, that's a perfect spot to play in that scenario. I'm gonna stay high ground here. I'll try to go after Genji since he's on her Anna. He got no deflect. I know that for sure. I'm gonna try to come up here and meet him up here. Got Genji. And I have Dragon here in overtime, so this is all about zoning again. 
So as soon as they start to push point, I'm gonna zone them. Actually, may not need it since I got a ash pick. Which is just keep spamming the area. Genji may blade here. If he blades, I'm ulting point. Oh no, he's dead. So I didn't have to use uh, all. So it just comes down to saving ultimate. You always want to save your ultimate. If you don't need to use it, then don't use it. Like right there, I was about to use it and he bladed, but he got killed instantly. So I'm not going to use that. I'm going to wait and save it. Bob needs to die here, so I'm going to try to focus Bob after he wakes up. I'm actually going to go ult now. I'm going to back up and then ult so I don't get matrixed. I tried to go after Genji there, but Genji got me. That was a pretty good push. We should have killed Bob. If you killed Bob there, we would have won that, but it's fine. So at least I got my dragons off, but it wasn't enough. I actually should have played a little far away from point, so that was my fault. I should have played like back here, but I just am not confident. My team on not c 9 so that's why I played so close. Because since it's ranked game, it's a ranked game. But uh, yeah. I'm gonna stay high ground. Stick Diva. Dump away to health pack. Now I'll face him. I gotta keep trying to build my ult here so I can use dragons to get him off the point so they can see mine. Find a corner just so I can see him through the corner. I'm gonna spam this actually. Sonic Diva here, try to stun the tank. I'm a Sonic Diva here again, missed. They actually ate it, which is fine. I keep backing off. Sonic. We're using ult, so I'm gonna pop ult too. I'm a Kree. Nice. There we go. We basically, just used all ults there and won the fight, but luckily, I got a little lucky shot on McCree, which is Hanzo. You just gotta keep spamming. And yeah, 40 and 18. And we turned that game around, which was great. Gotta play the game too. Yeah, right there, since it was overtime, you mainly just want to build up dragons, since dragons, like I keep saying, zoning them all, and you'll win the fight all the time. Some nice little shots here. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and that was basically how you guys played Hanzo. Leave a like and a subscribe if you guys did enjoy the video, and let me know in the comments down below what other hero you guys want me to do for a guy video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you guys for watching, and peace.